sounds of fighting. Has something attacked the Karja fort? risking its ass down here. Girl, approach! Snow haze, white as bone. <laughs> that thought got dark. Will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balan! Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. in Banuke lands. I heard you talking about trouble in Banuke lands. <sighs> Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? <laughs> Not with the Banuke wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Captain Blon, I have questions for you. 
First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, there was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused... an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making this, but by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during. Machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that, bandits and were stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. I've got to get going. Thanks for the information. One moment. If you find yourself heading back toward the Sacred Land, there's something you could do for me. I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. If you could look for them, I'd appreciate it. Their last known location was near an abandoned Nora village, due east of here. I'll keep an eye out for them, if I'm over that way. know how to forage in those ruins. Beyond the sacred land, I need to find Owen. 
will learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Owen's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. And he will pay for all the lives he's ruined.
machine sword.
even close. Run if you can! Ouch.
and up. Not quick enough. I'm sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? I thought Meridian was open to all, Karja. What happened to Ursa has nothing to do with us. No, I'm awake. And alert. Ugh, damn it. Uh, no, I'm awake. And alert. <sighs> Every minute I'm stuck here costs me good shards. What's going on here? Roland's in there, somewhere. And so's Aaron, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. In a month, it's always the merchants. The city's locked down. Not getting the crew out, Lander. Hold! He doesn't look Stop happy. Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. It drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull together. Over there. So you approve? 
Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. And now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. Give yourself some time. You'll find your footing. Not at the rate I've been drinking. And what would your sister have said about that? I know, you're right. I should expect more of myself. She always did. A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was... attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But... he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Owen is working with them. But... I mean... this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Come on. So many people are all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. Is she? Oh. Girl? Take a look. I'll Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. Would you like to buy something today? Year. Why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <laughs> oh. That was... subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. Yep. Other than the door. All of this... for one man. It pays to have connections yeah, in the Sun King's fair. court. And the floor near it is warm. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it. 
Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azeron make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Call it a day, girl. You're wasting time. Looks like a picture of Olin's family. <laughs> Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? told him to obey or they'd kill his family. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And... These things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus is the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin. Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do.
smelled before. Is that some kind of spice? We need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well, then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk. Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs, present yourself to the sun hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. Machine Rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the Savage Lands. The Sacred Land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing, right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight.
sun, may this ceasefire be short lived and the peace be everlasting. You're a Talana? Asi said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Hmm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. He cuts through trees, rocks. People. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place, no matter how anyone feels about it. Assis, what's his story? He's the sun hawk of the lodge. The highest ranking asshole. Sorry, member. He's taken down ravagers, stalkers, behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. That's how it works. Whichever hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes a sun hawk. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So, <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to a cease, the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all of us kills and drink the bar dry. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me? I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. By the sun! King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not gonna take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half-suns, one for 15 full-suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a hunter's lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon for me.
working too damn hard. Able bodied oh, adventurers, preferably with no friends or family. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your. Okay, stop there if you want me to hear you out. Uh, I only meant uh, a well molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh,. I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Those Banook are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, Think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Eridia is the greatest of all cities, and within is the greatest of all people. You could spend your whole life Can in I interest and never you in a reasonable time. share of a lucrative opportunity? What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across other blossoms grow around them in an amazing pattern. If you bring me some, I... Ah, let us... Till we meet again, everyone needs a splash of color in their lives.
Come, let's talk it over. I miss the smells of smoke and sweat. That's how you know you've done a good day's work. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Won't find that always. You're an outlander. No. Then you may have come up. They can sit. If you bring. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sh. Mm, yes. You look capable. You, you might do. Look. Come here, if you will. around family next door. Nora, I'm the mournful no like this in grief. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations. Someone you lost to the sun ring. Oh, uh, no, 
I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. If I could help, what must be done? The first pilgrim is an Asaram, who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moss gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawk's perched there, drawn to the spire's shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. This was a Karja city.
and a longer night ahead, most likely. I need to speak with you! You with the second sight, I need your help! You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Wasted time. Show was better last week.
A pocket shit storm tour, day nine. I was setting up my tent right here when Wyatt's call came through. I came as fast as I could, but we'd already slipped into a coma. We never got a chance to say goodbye. I stopped for a bit. Eh, I've seen better. It's a bit frivolous. Oh, you're in for a treat. It's quite a show. <laughs> 